For centuries, astronomers have gazed up at the night sky, their eyes drawn to one of the most captivating stars in the heavens, Betelgeuse. This colossal red supergiant, perched on the shoulder of the mighty Orion constellation, has long been a beacon of mystery and wonder. It's not just any star. It's a behemoth over 700 times wider than our own sun, with a mass that could swallow our solar system whole. And now, in the year 2025, fresh revelations from the James Webb Space Telescope are rewriting everything we thought we knew about this stellar giant. We're not talking about distant theories or dusty textbooks. We're witnessing the raw, pulsating drama of a star teetering on the brink of oblivion. Imagine a cosmic time bomb ticking away just 642 light years from Earth, close enough to feel intimate yet far enough to keep us safe. Betelgeuse has been dimming and brightening erratically for years, sparking whispers among scientists. Is this the prelude to a supernova? Could we be on the verge of the most spectacular light show in human history? Let's dive deeper into what makes Betelgeuse so extraordinary. This isn't your average star burning steadily like our sun. No, Betelgeuse is in its twilight years, a red supergiant that's exhausted its nuclear fuel. Inside its core, the fusion processes that once powered its brilliance are faltering. Helium has fused into carbon, carbon into heavier elements, but now the star is running on fumes. Its outer layers are bloated and unstable, swelling like a balloon about to pop. Back in 2019, Betelgeuse stunned the world by dimming dramatically, losing nearly two-thirds of its brightness in a matter of months. Astronomers scrambled to their telescopes, hearts racing. Was this the beginning of the end? Dust clouds, they theorized, or perhaps massive ejections of material from the star's surface. But the dimming passed, and Betelgeuse brightened again, leaving us with more questions than answers. Fast forward to today, and the James Webb Space Telescope, humanity's most powerful eye in the sky, has pierced through those veils of uncertainty with its infrared gaze. Webb isn't just snapping pretty pictures. It's unraveling the star's secrets layer by layer. Using its advanced instruments like the near-infrared spectrograph and mid-infrared instrument, scientists have captured unprecedented details of Betelgeuse's turbulent atmosphere. Picture this. Enormous convective cells, bubbles of plasma the size of entire planets, rising and falling on the star's surface like boiling soup in a galactic cauldron. These aren't static images. They're dynamic snapshots of chaos showing how the star's magnetic fields twist and tangle, flinging material into space at speeds that defy imagination. And here's where it gets even more thrilling. Recent observations in 2025 have revealed something no one expected, a hidden companion star orbiting Betelgeuse. Dubbed the Beetle Buddy by excited astronomers, this smaller star has been lurking in the shadows, its presence masked by Betelgeuse's overwhelming glow. For decades, Theories hinted at a binary system, but Webb's precision has confirmed it. This companion isn't just a sidekick. It's a key player in the drama, influencing Betelgeuse's behavior and potentially altering the course of its explosive fate. Think about the implications. In a binary system, stars can interact in profound ways. The companion could be siphoning material from Betelgeuse, or their gravitational dance might be accelerating the supergiant's instability. If Betelgeuse does go supernova, and experts say it could happen any time from tomorrow to 100,000 years from now, this companion might not survive the blast. Could be vaporized in an instant, adding an extra layer of cosmic fireworks. But why does this matter to us here on Earth? Because a supernova this close would be unlike anything we've ever seen. It wouldn't just light up the night sky. It could shine as brightly as the full moon during the day casting eerie shadows and turning our world into a perpetual twilight spectacle. Ancient civilizations might have recorded such events as omens, but for modern humanity, it's a front-row seat to the universe's most violent rebirth. Delving into the science, let's explore how a supernova unfolds. At Betelgeuse's core, iron is accumulating, the death knell for massive stars. Fusion of iron doesn't release energy. It absorbs it, causing the core to collapse under its own gravity in a fraction of a second. This implosion rebounds into a shockwave that rips through the star, blasting its outer layers into space at nearly the speed of light. The energy released is staggering, 
more than our sun will emit in its entire lifetime, compressed into a few weeks. Webb's data is giving us clues to this process right now. By analyzing the star spectrum, astronomers detect shifts in elements like silicon and magnesium, signs of the nuclear forge ramping up. The companion star's discovery adds a twist. Its orbit might cause asymmetries in the explosion, leading to an uneven blast that could propel material in unexpected directions. Imagine a supernova that's not a perfect sphere but a lopsided eruption, spewing jets of plasma that could seed new star systems unevenly. But Betelgeuse isn't exploding in isolation. Its death throes are already rippling through the surrounding space. Webb has spotted plumes of gas and dust extending far beyond the star, remnants of past outbursts that form a hazy halo. These ejections are rich in heavy elements, carbon, oxygen, iron, the building blocks of planets and life. When Betelgeuse finally detonates, it will enrich the interstellar medium with these essentials, forging the raw materials for future generations of stars and worlds. We're stardust, as the saying goes, and Betelgeuse's supernova would be a vivid reminder of that cosmic recycling. Scientists are using Webb to model these processes with incredible accuracy, simulating how the shockwave will interact with nearby gas clouds, potentially triggering a wave of star formation in Orion's arm of the Milky Way. Now, let's address the elephant in the room. Is Betelgeuse about to blow? The 2019 dimming event, combined with ongoing variability, has fueled speculation. In 2025, new data shows the star entering a critical phase, with pulsations becoming more erratic. Some YouTube channels and headlines scream, imminent explosion. But let's separate fact from hype. Astronomers like those at the European Southern Observatory emphasize that while Betelgeuse is unstable, the timeline is vast. Yet, the companion star's presence changes the game. It explains some of the periodic brightness changes, perhaps eclipses or gravitational tugs, that we mistook for pre-supernova signs. This discovery, published in prestigious journals like Science, came from meticulous analysis of Webb's images, where the companion's faint light was separated from Betelgeuse's glare using advanced algorithms. Envision the scene if it does happen soon. From Earth, the first sign might be a sudden spike in brightness, outshining Venus overnight. Telescopes worldwide would swing into action, capturing the expanding shell of debris. Neutrino detectors buried deep underground could pick up the flood of particles from the core collapse, arriving hours before the light. Gravitational wave observatories like LIGO might detect ripples in spacetime from the asymmetric blast, linking visible astronomy with the invisible fabric of the universe. For amateur stargazers, it would be a once-in-a-lifetime event, visible without equipment, inspiring awe and perhaps a touch of fear. Would it disrupt our technology? Unlikely. At 642 light-years, the gamma rays and radiation would be diluted, posing no threat to Earth's atmosphere or life. But it could illuminate the sky for months, altering nocturnal ecosystems and giving poets endless material. Beyond the spectacle, the scientific payoff is immense. Studying a nearby supernova in real time would revolutionize our understanding of stellar evolution. We'd learn how magnetic fields influence the collapse, why some stars form neutron stars while others birth black holes. Betelgeuse's mass suggests a black hole outcome, a singularity where gravity triumphs, light can't escape. But with the companion, there might be a fallback scenario where material rebounds and forms a hybrid object, a theorized thorn, between neutron star and black hole. Webb's ongoing